This steam cabin is the system. Shake your brains out if you want to. If you wise, you quit stalling and take that policy. You think it's smart to give my men the runaround, don't you? They all make me sick. You haven't a man that knows how to sell insurance. I bet you a trip to Europe that one of my men will have your name on an application blank before the end of the week. I'll take that bet. And when we get back from that nice trip you're going to pay for, you can try that shimmy machine on your head, you fathead. Ah, <laughs> uh, you will you. <laughs> when do you want this? Right here. This is the heaviest wrestling mat I ever carried. They should serve coffee with these rolls. Pretty nifty for so early in the morning. I wonder where we are and why. We're in a public playground. Oh, uh, exercise is a thing, Blodgett. I do my daily dozen regularly, once a year. Oh, look there. What's this gadget? That's an electric horse. Quite famous during the last administration. Hold this and I'll show you how it works. Go ahead, there. All you got to do is turn the handle. <laughs> Yay! Oh, January. Look, Blodgett, what great president does this look like? Too bad I can't write for the newspaper. <laughs> yes, indeedy. Oh, look, let's play ball. You throw it and watch me sock it. Go ahead. Now put it over the plate, Blodgett. Here she comes. Hey, what are you doing? That's look out. All, that's all right, we're only playing. Oh. You be the umpire. Wait a minute, I'll dust off the home plate. Oh, this is terrible. Put oh, it over the plate goodness. now, Blodgett. Here's the bigger one. If you... Uh, no! What's the meaning of this? Go away and play somewhere oh, else. Don't be a prude. Do you think men are mice? If you don't go, I'll, I'll have you done. Uh, no threats there, steam room, Charlie. Remember, your head's teed up just right for a mashy shot. Here's a great big one. See if you can hit this one. Let me out of here. Let me out with you. Tell hey, me. you got our ball. Open the door. What? Oh, turn the handle. Can't hear you. Don't mumble your words. What do you want? Oh, this. Is that what you want? Huh? Oh, this. This. Oh, you don't know what you want. Take it up with the board of directors. Logic, that'll never get you anywhere. Yes, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, look, there's a fight going on over there. Oh, you sat there wrestling. If there's one thing I do know how to do, Blodgett, it's wrestle. That's my hobby. Let's go over and kibitz a while. It's okay with me. Good morning, boys. Hi. Hoy, Poloy. Yeah. You have the right hold on him there, brother, but you're not putting enough leverage on it. Certainly not. I'll help him out. I'll show you. Go ahead. You've got to push it down there yeah. like that. Bear down on it, George. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, now you got him. Now you got him. The winner and the new champion. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> What's the idea? Say, you don't belong around here. What? Where's the tra Hey, trainer, come here. What's the row here? Who are these two guys? Are you members? No. Are you guests? No. Are you thinking of joining this club? No. But I'm thinking of leaving. I'm thinking the same thing. I thought so. So we'll all leave together. That'll be pleasant. Now get out and stay out. Well, what do you think of that? Yes, what do you think of that? I think it's a darn poor way to get new members. Oh, so much. Oh, what's happening here? Get in the way. Come on, somebody get a rope. Get inside a rope. Come on, get inside a rope. Get on, get on. Hey, somebody go over there. Stand out. If your regular men can't do it, get somebody else. Get new blood. Hype out men. But sell crack with it. Do you hear me? Sell crack with it. Yes, Mr. Gilfoyle. I beg you. Yes? Dalton, the president insists that Clackworthy be sold. Now you're supposed to be the head of my sales force. How about it? 
Well, I've tried every trick I know. Oh, that's because you don't know your business. You don't approach him right. I bet I can go out in the street and pick up the first man I'd see and have him turn the trick. I'd like to see you do it. Oh, you would, huh? By George, I'll show you. Sloan, go outside and pick up the first man you see and bring him in here. I don't care who he is. Anybody? Yes, anybody. I'll show you. I'll get results around here. Hey, just a minute. I never give money to tramps. <laughs> you got me wrong. Come inside. The boss wants to see you. What boss? The big boss. The big boss? Wants to see us? No, just one of you. The deal is off. We see the big boss together, not at all, right? Right. Wherever we go, we're both thrown out together. Right. Well, come on, the both of you, then. It's up to the boss. It's up to the boss. It's Ollie up to the boss. This is the first one I saw. You should have taken a second look. This is the boss. The boss? The big boss. Howdy, boss. How are you? He's big, all right, but I bet you couldn't wrestle him. I'd bet I'd hold my own with him. Catch as catch can. Want to wrestle? Certainly not. Well, you should go in for it. You're built for wrestling. <laughs> Sloan, you're certainly some picker, but I'll go through with it. Boys, my name is Sandow. Where's your dumbbell? Shut up. Pay attention to the boss. The boss? The big boss. Hi, boss. Now, I sell insurance. Uh-oh, that's enough. Goodbye, boss. Just a moment. I don't want to sell you insurance. Well, that's all right, then. But you're a traveling salesman. Well, I wouldn't do Yes, you are, and I'll bet you know some swell stories, you old reprobate you. <laughs> Say, I heard a pip of a story the other day. Stop me if you've heard this. Go ahead. Ah, <laughs> look, the boss is laughing already. I am not. Well, your face is all red. Now, get this, this is hot. Stop, don't tell it. Oh, why not? We're all men amongst men. Certainly. She's a woman. Blodgett, he's a woman. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit nearsighted. Oh, that's all right. I knew it all the time. Yeah, but not positively. <laughs> now, as I said before, my name is Sandow. Yes, ma'am. Miss Catherine Sandow. Yes, sir, ma'am. Miss, mind you. I won't miss it again. I got you, boss. I mean, bossy. Do you know anything about selling insurance? Do I know anything? Well, do you? No. You could learn, couldn't you? Sure. Why not? We both have college educations. You look a little ragged to be college men. We went to a cheap college. <laughs> Did you graduate? Yes. And no. You can see that he's still interested in his research work. <laughs> <laughs> There's one that's aptly put, eh, what? You know, Sandow, this is a big moment for me. In fact, to tell you the truth, I am all a Twitter. <sighs> you have nerve enough to make good salesmen. Sit down, Sandow. Our work will speak for itself. But proceed. You intrigue me, you vampire, you. Pardon me. Should be ashtrays there. Here, light a fresh one. I don't mind. Maybe there's tobacco in it. Have one yourself. Oh, no, I never... Go ahead, go ahead. Smoke it later. Now, Catherine, what's your proposition? In a very few words... This... Oh, this is annoying. Come in. Miss Sandow... Uh, pardon me. Uh, who is this person, uh, Sandy? This is Mr. Dalton. Not Jack Dalton, the outlaw. No. Then we're not interested. Outside, Dalton. Mr. Dalton is supposed to be my head salesman. Salesman? <laughs> he doesn't look like a salesman at all. He has no unction. Not the type at all. Who are these two porcupines? Ignore him, Blodgett. Remember your strength. I told you I could go out in the street and pick up anybody who would sell Clackworthy. Well, here they are. What, these two? Yes, these two. They'll never do it. They will. They have never enough to sell anybody. They'll not sell Clackworthy. They will. They won't. They will. They won't. Cut it out, both of you, or I'll throw you all out of my office. Now, let me get this thing straight. You expect us to go out and sell life insurance to somebody, is that right? Yes, and by George, you'll do it. Now, cut that out. That's the last time I'm going to tell you, Catherine. Salesman. You'll do well, you will. <laughs> Why, curse you, Jack Dalton, you'll pay dearly for that sardonic laugh. Say, Dalton, if those two guys sell Clackworthy, we're out of a job. Don't worry. I'm going to fix it so they won't even see Clackworthy. What are you going to do? I'm going to give them the wrong address. Send them to the president's house instead. When Gilfoyle sees those two mugs, he'll be so sore he'll fire Sandow. You'll turn the trick. I have faith in you. I'll make good, Kitty. That's the spirit. Hey, take it easy, gal. Dalton will give you all the necessary data, so goodbye and good luck. Uh, 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 uh. 
I still say you should take up wrestling. Ah, oh, but this is no time for romance. There's work to be done. I go now, Catherine, but I'll be thinking of you and I'll always remember that old Latin quotation, six sub terracotta. What's that mean? How would I know, you fool? I read it one time on a cigar band. And goodbye again, Catherine. <coughs> and have that thing fixed. Your milk, sir. Oh, it's you, Mavis. Huh. What's the matter, Clack, with thee? Worried about that bed? You'd be closed up like a clam all afternoon. Say, you'd be closed up like a clam if you'd been steamed in that cabinet like I was this afternoon. Ha! Steamed clam, eh? <laughs> <laughs> if I ever lay my eyes on the sap that did it, I'll steam clam him. Oh. How are you going to approach this fella? I haven't made any plans yet. What is it? He's crying. Weeping Willie. We want to see the master of the house. Have you an appointment? Only a verbal agreement. But tell him it's vital. And if he refuses to see us, report back here immediately for further orders. Yes, sir. Just wait here. I'd rather wait inside. Hey, look at the wrestler. Yeah, look how he's standing. Why, he's just a palooka. Big pardon, sir. There are two persons that wish to see you. Send them away. I don't want to be disturbed today. Yes, sir. Hi, and here comes that crying butler. Is breaking my heart. <laughs> I bet you can't throw him. I bet I can. Watch it when they stand like that. It's a cinch to throw them. <laughs> Watch me get a hold on this bird. The old gladiator himself. That boy, shake hands. This is one bout that's going to be on the level. <laughs> Win, lose, or afraid. <laughs> no, you don't, Jack. Come on, headlock on him now. He couldn't take it, could he? He was muscle-bound. <laughs> oh, well, now to business. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? What's going on here? Medals! Well, Medals. just the man I want to see. You're looking fine, but aren't we all? I don't know you. Ah, oh, but you will in a moment. Let me go! You're detaining me for my friend. That'll be it taken care of. Blodgett, go in and entertain this gentleman's friend while we talk business. Okay. <laughs> Just a moment. A moment is right. A golden moment. A moment that you'll never regret. Sit down. Ah, now we're comfortable. And now for my good news. I sell insurance. What? It's a fact, a happy fact. I represent the Gem Insurance Company. Ha, you fool. I am the president of the Gem Insurance Company. Ha, and I'm a runaway king. You jolly dog, you. Now, at your age, I would suggest that you take out a health and accident policy. Let's see the condition you're in. Say, ah. Ah! Mama, your teeth are good. Some of them are your own. But we won't cross those bridges till we get there. Now, I have this policy which I suggest ensures you against health and accident. Why, yes, but I am Rodney Guilford. Rodney, eh? That's Jake with me. Now, Jake, supposing you had an accident, which could happen to anybody. For instance, suppose someone took your arm like that and broke it. Ouch! Where would you be? I'll illustrate. Oh, 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 look! Out. Look out is right. Look out for an accident. Look out for a rainy day. Or look out for a slip on the ice. <laughs> now this policy which I'm trying to interest you in will be a guarantee of old age comfort to you and to your family. I, I have no family. You're telling me. <laughs> I'll even insure you against the police. Help! Help! You need no help if you have insurance. And the money invested in insurance will bring you compound interest. Or in a case like this, a compound fracture.
Insurance will be a nest egg for your children. I'm a single man. Then take out a double policy in case you've miscalculated. For a broken arm, you receive one-fifth of the principal. For two broken arms, two-fifths. And for a broken neck, you receive it all. Don't! What are you trying to do? Where is he? The master's not to be disturbed. I've got to see him. Orders is orders, miss. Out of my way. Madam? Oh, you can't do this to me. I've got to see you. You can't do that I've either. Got to see Madam, you know lady. <laughs> oh. Oh. Our organization deals with a select group of men of which you are one. I'll deal with you, all right. Now, will you let me visualize for you what we have already discussed? Will you? Answer me. So you won't talk, eh? Where do you buy your beer? At the end of 15 years, this policy will double itself, the same as in spades. Stop it, I tell you. You're choking me, madam. Stop. This is becoming irksome. Be convinced. Sign. If you'll let me up, I'll sign a $1,000 policy. What, only $1,000? Are you trying to bribe me? $100,000 is my lowest figure. Come, come, my time is valuable. Sign there. All right, I'll sign. Give me the pen. Sign there and I'll fill in the rest. Oh! 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 Better please don't do that! Oh! 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 That's the spirit. Now let me shake your hand again and compliment you on your decision. Oh, am I on time? Everything's fine. He's signed, sealed, and delivered. What? You fool! This is the president of our company. It's all right. I told you to find a high-powered man, and you certainly did. But we haven't signed Clackwell there. Oh, look, I signed the guy up, too. Who? Who is it? J.P. Clackworthy. Hooray! Hooray! Good work, Blodgett. Kind of nifty, eh, Sandow? Say, Kitty, I want to tell you the rest of that story. Oh, dear. The clerk says there's only one vacant room, but it's next to a room that an old maid is sleeping in. Why, Clackworthy, we finally got you, and I've won the bet. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't mind losing. There's the best insurance salesman I ever met. Oh, no, it isn't. I found the best. Hi, Power. Hi, Power. Where are you? Here I am. I was hiding behind Sandow. Hi, Power. I want you to meet Mr. Clackworthy. Uh, well, well steam room Charlie. Coming through. Gangway. I'll get you. That's the bathroom. How provoking. Quick, in here. Steam room Charlie, huh? <laughs> Where are they? In there. What are you doing? Man alive! You've got a hundred pounds of steam on them in there. I'm going to have a couple of nice fresh steam cans. Yes, but it's dangerous. Open it up. I guess they're done. <laughs> 